I'm Jeff Golan from McGill University in Montreal, Canada. I'd like to share with you how I started my endoscopy practice in spinal surgery. I became curious about endoscopy last year when I received an email prompt to look at a video that I found interesting. I then booked two, case, two, um, two cadaver courses that I uh, enrolled in last year. These were convincing that I needed to incorporate the technology into my daily practice. I booked three other cadaver courses over the following six months with each of the three main companies that I could work with in my hospital. Once I picked the company that was best suited for uh, us, I then did additional training with them in uh, Germany. I had a visiting proctor uh, surgeon assist us during the first four cases that we did in Montreal and subsequently another rep came up to assist us with the following three cases. I then went to Germany for visitation where I watched 25 surgeries being done and that really helped me move forward in my learning curve. I've since done a dozen cases on my own and feel increasingly comfortable with each one. I'm now starting to do surgeries where endoscopy offers an absolute advantage over traditional and alternative approaches. There's no doubt that choosing to learn a new skill such as this is a commitment. It's good to find senior surgeons and reps that can assist you with patient selection and getting the right setup for you, for your operating room, and for your staff. It's pivotal to have the right support from your institution. Firstly, to buy the equipment. Secondly, you may need to justify the higher running costs associated with this surgery compared to other surgeries such as tubular decompressions. And thirdly, anticipate that your initial productivity will decline as you will be doing less cases per day than you're accustomed to. You'll also need to have time aside to educate your prospective patients. Be honest and transparent with them. I told each of my patients why I thought endoscopy offered them a clinical advantage and thought and that I was in my learning curve. Finally, and this may be the most challenging part, you must spend as much time as possible, as much time as necessary in the OR and be prepared to deal with a variety of challenges and surprises. Always do the safest possible surgery and take care of each patient that entrusts you. I'm excited to have this skill set in my surgical toolbox and look forward to gaining more experience and gain familiarity with the instruments and do more challenging cases. I'm happy with the pathway I took and hope that you will find this video helpful.